Hi, I'm Dan Verhove and I'm going to show you an amazing little motor. Um, some of you may know me as Dan the Blogger from my uh, my website. Uh, it's uh, well, it's right here. www.openprtspecs.blogspot.com, and I'm going to show you uh, my little the operation of my little motor that I've uh, developed here specifically for robotic transportation uh, tracked tra uh, uh, transportation preferably now what this is is first of all it's ironless it by being ironless that means that it can turn freely uh, there are other motors that have similar qualities um, like oh, say like the stepper motor here uh, I can turn the I can I can turn the stepper motor as fast as I want and it won't free spin because it's got iron in it and it's uh, attracted to its various little poles along the way so uh, it cannot free spin, although it does many of the things that this uh, this motor does. Um, it's bipolar in that uh, what I do is I transfer, uh, I switch the the polarity of the electricity in the electromagnets that are inside here. Um, well, it's it's like like these. I feed current in one way, then I flip it and feed current in the other way, and then feed current in that way, and feed current in that way. And so by changing the polarity of the electromagnet that gets created, uh, it creates an attraction or a repulsion. So it's also an axial flux motor. Uh, that's kind of unusual in that it's a sandwich um, this this part here is sandwiched between layers of magnets and see that one actually I can pull that right out I hope I can get it back in with one hand I'm holding the camera with the other there we go that should be alright that's the beauty of snap together construction um, normally in motors, the uh, the magnetism is radiating out from the center, uh, or going in towards the center, or out away from the center. It's not going this way. This is why it's this is called a uh, axial flux. The other way would be radial flux. It is a stepper motor of sorts. It does not have the uh, as many steps as say this this little stepper motor here has 200 different discrete positions but uh, this has far fewer I think it's uh, oh what does it have? it have I think it has 80 I believe I don't know I should know that anyway and uh, finally last but not least it is a hub motor slash generator that is to say that the hub is stationary and the wheel itself turns around the hub. I'll put a piece of tape on here so you can so you can see it in operation. Now what I've done here is I've got a uh, this is what they call an Arduino uh, microcontroller kit. Uh, you can get them that uh, sort of a hobbyist. Uh, beginner microprocessor thing and it uh, it's got a bunch of outputs and I've really used them all I don't need to use so many of them but uh, I wanted to start from scratch and make this as simple as it could possibly be um, so these these chips here are really nothing more than high-speed relays uh, they take uh, they separate the logic the power supply for the logic that's coming out of here and they trigger a larger power supply uh, that's got more 
amperage for spinning the motor. What I've got here also is um, I've put some little LEDs here so you can see them light up and these will light up it'll like light 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 then it'll go out then it'll go out then it'll go out then it'll go out except it happens very quickly so let me show you how it works now the thing about this uh, being um, being ironless is that this is a free a free spinning motor so I mean you know this is something that you want to have in a vehicle you don't want to have a vehicle that uh, that can't ever coast so let me uh, let me demonstrate what happens if I want to put on the electronic brakes so to speak as it starts up there we go and this is running a little program that I wrote to demonstrate it, the uh, operation vibration in it. Of course this has no load so it will vibrate when it's jumping from one position to another as you just saw. Now it is locked and it does have a little bit of bounce to it. But that is, uh, that's how it works. And when I turn it off, it back to free spinning again. Now, uh, like I said, this thing was is, is a generator also. I want to take out one, one lead here and plug it in. Oop, wrong one. see the LEDs lighting up now that is an alternating current coming out of there so anyway that is my oh and one thing I wanted to mention about this uh, about this is that um, this whole thing is been designed to be easy to make. Uh, it's made out of like plumbing parts. Like this is a this is originally a cap from a uh, like a four inch drain pipe. Um, I didn't need to have a lathe or anything to to put the holes in it. I used a stepper drill and just kept on referencing it. Uh, you know, I've, I do have a I don't have much in the way of equipment here, but I've got I can check the check it on either side and as I step the drill uh, up you know into higher higher diameter holes I can kind of kind of guide it uh, this these things are fairly easy to make I wind them up on a here's here's a here's <laughs> here's a crude apparatus for winding it it's just a square nut kind of with a couple of <laughs> I don't know some tape and some junk to make it wind up correctly, but uh, I wind up little square, little squares, and uh, and then uh, and then uh, tape them together. Uh, I cast that into discs like this. This one, I made the bad mistake of thinking that I would never have a short or a break in the wire inside of it and I do so this is junk but uh, that's uh, that's window screen in there for a, basically for a heat sink and uh, uh, this is the thing I actually cast it in this is uh, well let's see if I can find the find the break and I've got a few uh, pieces of Got a few pieces. I've got a few rings in here that, that, that basically it's plastic uh, strapping that, that are wrapped around and they're 
cut just such, such so tightly that they that you can jam them in there and that makes the diameter smaller so that when you cast this thing uh, it's smaller than the diameter of the eventual wheel that you're going to put it in so that's how uh, that's how we that's how we get the clearance so anyway it's sort of generally how it's done uh, later on I'm gonna come up with a better way to to do the insides and all that individual wiring that was a real pain in the neck anyhow that's the uh, that's the project just uh, just if you are interested in alternative transportation there it is uh, www.openprtspecs.blogspot.com I'll be looking forward to hearing from you that's all